Lisa Hebert. I'm the CEO of Best Care Dry Cleaners. Best Care was started by my parents, Tony and Irene, in 1970. And for a new couple just starting out, it was a really humble beginning. They rented um, a place about a, a block away from where we are today and really just did absolutely every aspect of the business day to day themselves. So everything from sweeping the floor to operating equipment and machinery to book work. So by 1976, my parents had three small children, myself being the baby, and uh, they purchased this building here where we are today and it was an old glove factory. So they saved up and retrofitted the building to um, become a dry cleaners. Eventually the need for staff came up and every time we you know, hired someone or brought someone on, it was like another person joining our family and we still operate that way today. One of the things that my parents um, instilled in me was learning absolutely every job in the dry cleaners. So I had to sweep floors, I had to fold shirts, I had to put um, paper garment covers on hangers, I picked up safety pins off the floor, um, I've learned every piece of pressing equipment serving customers, uh, doing the books, absolutely every aspect of this business. I think it helps us to be able to uh, be better business owners today. If you were standing in a shirt press for eight hours a day, who better to notice something that could be improved upon, maybe a specific process or something that we can do better to improve our efficiency and production. And we love to hear those comments from our staff and we're also really quick to try and implement them if they make sense in the business. At various points uh, throughout our childhoods, all three of us siblings worked in the business. It was a great Saturday job when we were in school um, and allowed us to earn a little bit of extra money as we grew up. Uh, eventually my siblings went on to pursue their own careers and um, I was left with this amazing opportunity. Kevin and I had been married for uh, six years and we had two small kids under the age of three. And since life wasn't crazy enough, we decided why not approach my parents to buy the business? It's the perfect time. <laughs> So we, um, we did, we actually sat down and had that uh, difficult conversation and um, my dad was actually a lot more open to it than we thought. Maybe he kind of had dreamed about retirement and maybe he was ready at the same time that we were ready. So I grew up in a family business as well. My background came from the retail business. After we got married, uh, I moved over to this business, to the dry cleaning business because it suited me a lot better than retail. When I started, they had no computers, everything was done by paper, and so I helped them transition to fully integrated computer systems and started to computerize some of the equipment, get all of that to the point where it could operate more efficiently. Where we used to use paper tags on the garments, staple them or pin them on, and then have to manually read those and match them up with an invoice. We've gone to heat seal tags, which are permanently affixed to the garment. They're read with a, a scanner, a, a barcode scanner. It's amazing technology. When the customer service reps press a button, it actually goes directly to that customer's clothing. So eliminating any uh, mistakes from happening with the use of technology. As a complement to our service, we do alterations and repairs. We want it to be like new when it gets back to the customer. Our shirt unit is our pride and joy right now. Um, put in last June, it has a collar cuff component which can do four collars and cuffs at one time. And then that shirt transfers over to the body press where the body gets finished using vacuum, steam and air. And then it goes on to a collar cone to really set that collar and give it that beautiful crisp finish. We think about the future of Best Care a lot. Uh, being that this building is over 100 years old, we definitely encounter some challenges. We've always been in the North End, and the South End has grown quite substantially, and a lot of our customer base is from the South End. And the search started for another location. Eventually, we found 1290 Keniston, and uh, decided that we were gonna open in May of 2016. Right around that time, our son Caleb, who was in Red River, was um, going to be finishing off his term and needed a full-time job from April to September. And so we decided to put his IT knowledge to good use and we hired him on um, to help us set up our new location and then to train as a customer service representative as well. And he still works for us on Saturdays at the Keniston location. And then our daughter, Bailana, who is 16, also comes in and helps me out in the office and um, is still in grade 11, hasn't decided what she wants to do in the future, but again, another great asset to the business. Working together with um, my husband and occasionally with my kids, 
in a family business means the absolute world to me. Uh, it gives us all the opportunity to work towards common values and goals every day. Future for Best Care, uh, there's been a lot of advancements in technology and processes which we are implementing. We're already the most modern plant, but we'll take it a step further than that and see what the future holds.